Hi, I'm Stephanie Mosca here in Miami, Florida at IT Expo Miami 2013, and I'm joined today by Chris Kahneman, VP of Sales for the Blue Socket Division of Adtran. Chris, thanks so much for joining us My again. Pleasure. Always a pleasure to have you on the show. So, um, I mean, obviously, Adtran provides a lot of different communication solutions, but let's talk specifically about Blue Socket. Okay, yeah. So, um, Blue Socket was, is featured here. We've had a lot of interest in the product. Um, What's interesting about it, and I certainly uh, encountered this when we were at the session yesterday, is uh, BlueSocket leverages network virtualization. And what that means is all that control function that happens, all of that happens inside a virtual machine. So a lot of interest yesterday around, well, what does that mean and what's the benefit of network virtualization applied to wireless? And the, the answer on that is tremendous scale. So the same advantages that virtualization brings to a data center in terms of cost-effective scaling, it can happen with a wireless network as well. With virtualization, then we're able to offer it as a cloud, um, so it can be a private cloud. So a corporation could have centralized control and control access points all over the world if they if they choose. Mm -hmm. And then what was a lot of interest here from folks who are service providers and carriers is a public cloud offering. So a service provider then could host that control themselves and do that on behalf of end users. So the network with network virtualization, it gives you great uh, scale cost but it also gives you lots of flexibility to offer different sort of services based on the cloud. Absolutely, and just to give our audience a, a little background, mm -hmm. your presentation yesterday was focused a lot around the wireless LAN solution that you guys provide. Correct, yes, yeah. So can you tell us maybe a little bit about you know, that specific solution and how it helps to really you know, go the extra mile for your customers? Yeah, so that, that particular solution, as I mentioned, you know, uses network virtualization, so much more cost effective, much more, much more flexible. Um, more secure so that firewall actually happens out at that access point rather than inside the network at a controller, for example. Right. So, so a much more secure solution, much more cost-effective solution for the so customer. So very appealing. Very appealing, yeah. yeah. We had a lot, of, uh, a lot of interest out of that, out of that session, a lot of yeah. people coming in because it is different. It is different. It's a new approach to how networks, how wireless networks are being deployed. But it's really part of a bigger trend toward network virtualization, mm -hmm. which is taking that control function, virtualizing that, so then the physical device, the Phi device, you can absolutely optimize that for throughput. Right. So that's dealing with the physical data session and then you, you can scale it all on the, on the control side inside a virtual machine. Yeah, I mean, from my perspective, just in terms of virtualization in general, there were a lot of great questions in the presentation yesterday. Yeah. Just in, uh, I mean, I feel like a lot of people, you know, they're lacking that background information that they need in order to make things more effective for their companies. Right. The, uh, I don't know if you remember one slide that I presented was, uh, it was very technical. It was the chocolate and the peanut butter coming together. I do remember. <laughs> you know, that one. Yeah. So it's like, how do you get this chocolate, this peanut butter together? Chocolate being the wireless and, yeah. and uh, peanut butter being virtualization. Because a lot of folks, I, and you saw it from the questions, they either know a lot about one or the other. Right. So if I go to uh, anything about a, any show focused on data center, they're absolutely literate, very conversant on yeah. virtualization. Um, but they don't know a lot about wireless or RF. Mm -hmm. Contrary to that is more of a show like this where the folks do know more about the networking side but not so much about virtualization. Right. So one of the things that we have to do is bridge that and kind of explain how does that chocolate and peanut butter come together and it's two great tastes that do taste great together. <laughs> For sure. So what about uh, your Switch portfolio? Yeah, the other interest we've had here and it's, um, it's appropriate being here in Miami Beach then a lot of, there's a lot of old hotels here, very historic, beautiful hotels. Yeah. But one of the challenges for these hotels, if they're putting in wireless or, or, or just wired services, is a lot of times they have very old cable in these historic hotels. Right. Very expensive, or it may even be impossible to do anything different. A lot of them have Cat 3 cable. And the big challenge for them is there's no way they can cost justify pulling new cable. We've introduced a new technology on our 1535 switch, which is uh, called Active Reach. And what Active Reach enables is you can run an IP network, you can run uh, power over Ethernet on Cat3 cable. So all of a sudden, for a lot of these historic old hotels that are all along here, they, they, it opens up a great possibility. It's a very cost-effective switch. All of a sudden, they can use their Cat3 cable, yeah. and uh, Active Reach extends the range on Cat5 cable as well. So that technology, it can be enabled on any of the ports of the switch, so it's very flexible, cost-effective. All yeah. of a sudden, 
hotels and, and old venues, they can do things they couldn't do before. Yeah, it seems like a, a very seamless way for them to transition to kind of from legacy to the new age of... That's right. All of a sudden, they can put that brand new endpoint that they wanted on the network. Yeah. They can do it, right? With Active Reach, you can do that on, on Cat3Table. Yeah, it goes back to the whole thing of, you know, just not knowing that they're able to have these capabilities. Right. So that's great yes. that you're able to provide that for them. Anything else in looking into the future that you can uh, speak on in terms yeah, of the, the Blue, so uh, Blue Socket division? The interesting thing for, for Blue Socket is we've had a lot of interest from service providers on, I mentioned the public cloud offering. So service providers are saying, wow, I think a lot of my small and medium-sized business, they want a WLAN on their facilities that don't really want to manage it. Right. Um, what we can do with our public cloud capabilities then is allow that service provider to act as a hosted, they will actually host the service on behalf of that end user customer. So last year we did a lot of modifications in our software to make it multi-tenant and really lend itself to a public cloud offering. And now we're having a lot of service providers say, that's fascinating, that's a business I want to get into. Because yeah. for the small business owner, Wi-Fi used to be something really simple and easy. Well, now he has guests coming on, he's got BYOD, he's got smartphones, all that, and they're kind of looking to, to outtask that to a service provider. The service providers want to address that demand and then we provide the infrastructure for them to do that. Well, it sounds like 2013 is off to a good start. Off to a fantastic start, yeah. yes. It's going to be a successful 2013. Best of luck for a great year. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for joining us, Chris. Thank you.